tell them like as far as the goal, what we trying to accomplish with Monteville sonically and just content wise and all of that? Yeah, I mean, you know, and let's rewind for a second. You know, as we say, I, you know, I kept board to reach about. I guess it's been a year and a half now, and um, one of the biggest things, you know, that I was brought here to do um, is, you know. I'm not trying to compete in the bubble. Mm -hmm. Reach is no longer trying to compete in the bubble. It's reach, so we're trying to reach outside the bubble. You know, sonically, I felt that we could take it to another level. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's just kind of been my thing since since day one over here. It's just sonically, you know, taking these guys um, or you guys to you know, what I consider to be the next level. And I think you've seen some amazing, you know, growth. Um, just in the last year and a half, if you really look at the catalog and the music, you'd yeah. say, you know, and I know it's, you know, it's some older stuff that people were attached to when they might have been coming to the faith or whatnot, but if you look at just the reach of where the music is going and how the, the platform has grown, mm -hmm. um, and sonically, if you listen, if you really listen to the music in comparison to sonically where the competition is, you know, mm -hmm. where the... The um, other A-list producers or the people that have tracks, you know, you definitely say, whoa, like this stuff is, it, it's got the sound. You know right. what I mean? Right. Definitely with me, with going through Minerville, yeah. the goal was content is always, like, at the end of the day, that's a no-brainer. Right. I think because we believers, like, that's always the goal is to push the boundaries with our content. Yeah. Well, I think what you helped me with with this album was definitely making sure that the music was competitive yeah, yeah. like that I could take this put it right next to a Drake a Wayne a Nicki Minaj a Ross album and say for anybody not just Christians because a lot of times Christians were content driven and we overlook the the sonic uh, the sonic things that are going on but I want anyone to be able to sit our CDs side by side and say oh this is competitive yeah. this is just as yeah. good or even better yeah. That whole process, the process of Mindville is just one that I look back on and, you know, um, of course, doing church clothes and gravity mm -hmm. were monumental, you know, because these were kind of my first babies, you know, mm -hmm. coming over here and to see the success of church clothes and then mm -hmm. see the success of gravity was like, you know, those will always have a special, uh, a special spot for me. Mm -hmm. But your project also will have a special spot for me because I remember you coming in initially and you were like, you know, um, I don't want to make music for the bubble anymore. I don't want to just satisfy the bubble anymore or make my songs in a format that, you know, traditional Christian hip-hop would be like, yeah, that's dope. He was like, man, I want to make my music for the world through my biblical, my biblical lens. You know yeah. what I mean? I want my stuff, you know, and then you were firm on, man, I want to do an album the way I want to do it, not to please, you know, this specific youth group over here or whatever like that. He was like, if that's the case, if I'm gonna make music to, you know what I'm saying, satisfy these niches or something, then I might as well not be able to do that. And you said that, you know, for me it was, okay, let's go with it, let's yeah. take it there. Yeah, I think, I think if anything, if you were to listen to this album, I'd probably tackle tougher topics mm -hmm. in, the, in, in the sense of me. And I think that because we stuck to the script, and there was times when we sitting in meetings like, dang, what you what you gonna perform when you go here? Yeah. What you gonna like this this may ruin some opportunities yeah. here and and I guess the cool thing was Torrance always was like, Man, at first when you sat down and talked to me, but you said this you what you do. said you wanted to do. Yeah. This is not lining up exactly with what you're saying you want to do. Yeah. And I think that's a, a testament to all, all artists out here. Like, even if we're just talking about the Christian, you know, Christian rapper, Christian versus rapper type topic. I think the thing is just, man, you have to be true to who God made you to be. Yeah. Like, I think this album is so organic and people saying it's my best work, but it's because I'm true to who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm being myself. I didn't go into this album like, okay, I gotta have my this record. Yeah. I gotta have my youth group record, and then I gotta have my record that's gonna get me on radio. Then I gotta have my record that the streets gonna feel. I just said, I'm just gonna do me, and if the ship sink, well, at least I, I sank the ship being myself. And I think you encouraged that in me, 
And I, I echo that to any artist out there. Like, man, if, if your thing is doing theological, biblical raps, man, do that to the best of your ability, man. And if you see the success of a Lecrae, if you see the success of a, you know what I'm saying, of, of my record, how I'm approaching it, man, don't try to say, oh, I need to hop over here. Because yeah, yeah. it'd be un, it's unnatural. But then for the guys also, that's like, man, I like to make more practical music and I like to cover other topics and I, and I like to I like to do different something different like man be be yourself be honest and, and be real and I think that's when you make the best music you can make so yeah